plaintiff, Chloe Warner, says she was born a man, but lives her life as a woman. Chloe knew at age four that she was different, but because she grew up in a conservative family, she suppressed her feelings for years. Chloe was friends with the defendant, but she's suing her today for rent and utilities. Defendant Emma Boladera says she and Chloe bonded over the fact that Emma is a lesbian and Chloe is transgendered, and they became really good friends. Emma says she still believes Chloe is a good person, and she has no idea why she's in court today, because she never agreed to pay rent or utilities. Start with you. Well, sir, I'm transgender. I knew as early as four years old that something was different. I grew up in a conservative family, uh, which made me suppress my feelings very much. I participated in more manly activities throughout life, athletics. As an early teen, I became a devout Christian. In high school, I obtained the title of state champion in wrestling. How did you become a devout Christian? It allowed me to hold on to the fact that I was born a male and I needed to hold on to that and live that life. Male life? Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very interesting because I got yeah, a little theory about that. And the, the gay preachers who rail against homosexuality and then the first thing you do, you catch them. I got a little theory that they become very religious because they think they can pray the feeling that they have out of them. But in my opinion, it's biological, so ain't no praying it away. You became a devout Christian because you felt that you had to yes, correct sir. what was wrong when there's really nothing wrong with you at all. Right. So good. I'm glad you were able to overcome it. How did you overcome that? It was a long inner struggle, but there came a point where I was done. I was done lying to everyone around me, but most importantly, I was done lying to myself mm -hmm. about what was going on inside. Okay. Did you face any discrimination in your family or community? I feel I have, yes, sir. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's unfortunate, and I hope we as a society get past the discrimination, uh, things, even things we don't understand. A lot of people don't understand. Uh, transgender, um, a lot of people are just gaining a good understanding, and some of them don't still don't have a good understanding of, um, of, uh, uh, of homosexuality. In the meantime, we shouldn't discriminate, just try to learn and understand. All right, so good luck. Uh, with your future fight against any discrimination and won't nobody discriminate uh, against you when you come here. You, all right? I want you to know that and nobody can talk. Uh, you won't hear a snicker. You won't even see any funny looks if you turn around. Because my audience know I don't play that. All right, let's hear from you. Hello, Your Honor. Give me uh, a little background on yourself. Well, um, Chloe and I were friends, you know, good friends, and... Um, Since what age? Or? Oh, I've known Chloe for about a year now. Oh, okay. And we became good friends because she's transgender and I'm a lesbian, and mm -hmm. we made a bond, a tighter bond, and I feel that we were there for each other every time, you know, and she... She's a good person, you know, and I actually don't know why I'm here because she, I was there for her, well, her struggle, and I, she was there for my struggle. Um, Would you have had, struggle against discrimination by family, no, friends? No, no, we live in a small, very homophobic community, mm -hmm. and um, it made us closer, you know, we... That's what I'm Barnes saying, discrimination. Yeah. If yeah. it's homophobia, yeah, not by as much pretty for, much not definition, as much for is me. discrimination. Yeah, uh -huh. right. Not as much for me, but for her, because uh, we would go to the store, grocery store, mm -hmm. a lot of places, um, public places, and they would um, yeah, say he... If it's homophobic, it was yeah. for you, they too. Would say, I got news for you. They talked right, about right, you, right. too. But I'm more, I was, I'm more secure in my sexuality than... She's she secured is. now. Well, now she is, yeah. You but... only known her a year. She was secured <laughs> in. I see why you suing her. Trying <laughs> to make like she better than you. She no, ain't no better. that's not what I'm saying. They discriminated no. against her. They discriminated against you, too. Right, right, You live right. in a homophobic right. community. Right. With a bunch of bigots. Right. If that's they're homophobic, sure. right. they're bigots. Right. And so if they're bigoted toward her, they're bigoted towards you, too. Right. They're probably bigoted toward black people. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me started. <laughs>
Oh, get me started. Don't get me started. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, roommate, you're suing for rent and utilities. How so? Uh, in December of 2014, Emma's roommate and girlfriend went to jail for her fourth DUI, and Emma began struggling. January of 2015, I paid $480 towards Emma's rent for the apartment above me that she lived in. Throughout the month, discussions happened, and it was agreed that she would move in on February 1st, and that is when she was added to the lease, um, which I have right here. Let me see it, please. Okay. Go ahead. So February 1st, Emma moved in and was added to the lease. What was her share? Three seventy-five for rent, and then utilities, water, and internet, which varied monthly. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I do have an entire me, breakdown right here. It, please, yes, ma'am. That is wrong. All right. Now I'll let you tell me what all is wrong when okay. your turn comes. When, but... Okay. When I, my turn mm -hmm. comes. Okay. So what months did she miss? It appears that she failed to pay from February through every month. August. Every month. Never paid you a dime. Never. Wow. What she was she did. saying when you'd ask for your money? There was a situation in which I, I covered for her that she would cover or help out and cover me in the future when she was able to, and that never occurred. Okay. She did contact the Salvation Army and get $350 sent to the landlord, which I applied to the $480 I paid for her apartment in January, and I consider the other $130 just a gift. Okay. Ma'am? Okay, in December... Um of 2014, my girlfriend at the time had gone to jail for a DUI. Okay, um, Chloe had, I had, was with somebody else at the time and I had gone to visit that person in the beginning of J February, I mean January. Well, she ended up moving all my stuff out of my apartment from upstairs down to her apartment and stuff. And I'm like, you know, who does this? You know, she goes, don't worry, you know, I know you're struggling and I'm gonna help you because I love you. So anyways, um, I moved in with her and um, I was doing everything I could, you know, my part, you know, like cleaning the house and everything like that. Okay, when we spoke to the landlord, the landlord knew my situation. I was trying to get my work permit because I'm, um, I needed the work permit to work in the United States. He even helped give me some money to get my work permit. Well, she knew my situation too. So everything that she did for me was supposed to have been, you're not supposed to have been, well, she did it out of the kind of her, kindness of her heart, you know, because I didn't have no income, I didn't have anything, and so. All right, but did you agree to pay when, once she no, got the I income? Didn't. No. All right, but the lease says I'll pay. <laughs> yeah, but it is, the thing was, my landlord knew my situation. You're saying the landlord is the one that did not require you to pay to live there, right? Right, because he knew the All situation. All right, if the landlord okay. did not require you to pay, why did that same landlord require you to sign a lease? Because I needed the lease to live there. And Chloe... It's his property. You don't right, need anything right. other than what I, he I, said. I understand that. I understand that. But that's, what the, that's why I had to go on the lease to live there on the lease to... He could have said, no, you don't have to sign a lease, right? Well, that's what he said, but see, Chloe... Oh, look, he could have said, no, you right. don't have to sign a lease, couldn't right. he? Right, right. Just like he said, no, you don't have to give me money, right. couldn't he? Right, Yet he said, no, don't give me money, but yes, sign a lease. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? Yes. It does. I guess, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I don't... The thing was... Chloe never expected money from me, okay? She even, even when I did things at the house, she'd say, you're doing too much. She never asked me for any money. The only time she asked me for money was in um, April. She said, Emma, can you help pay next month's rent? Because I don't have a check coming from school anymore and I need you to help me out. Well, that's why I went to the Salvation Army and got the $350 to pay something on, but I moved in the middle of May. You know, so the money you got from Salvation Army, you gave to whom? To the landlord. It went straight to the landlord. For what for, purpose? To pay, help pay that rent for May. <laughs> rent! <laughs> to rent! Help, money right. you got to help on your behalf right. to pay 
The rant. Rant. But wait a minute, there's, as you're twisting. I'm twisted not twisting it. anything! <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever tell her she didn't have to pay rent? Initially, when she moved in, it was agreed upon that once she got her work permit, she would then pay back. Pay back rent yep. as well. All right. This is uh, pretty much enough evidence, but do you have any other evidence? Or do you have any evidence where she says you don't have to pay or abate no, it? No, because there was, we months. were friends and it was all word of mouth, you know, and she did this. She would buy me things. She would buy me clothes. She would give me things. And because Why do you she think said, she's changing the day and suing you? I don't know, because I moved out. I, I, got a I got my work permit. I got a job, and I moved out. And, um, and I said, thank you very much. I love you and everything. And all she said was, I'm taking you to court for 3400 <laughs> We cannot be friends no more. We, she's like, we can't be friends no more after this. I'm like, really? I said, what are you talking about? You know, we done. had no agreement of anything. As you said, I'm going to help you out till you get on your feet, then you can go on. And I'm like, okay. And that's what it was. And I appreciated everything that she did for me because everything... And what that, did she say when you said there was no agreement? She just says, well, I have proof. And I'm like, okay. I said, see you in court then. Okay. She <laughs> and she showed you evidence she by virtue something. of your signature on a lease. Right, but that wasn't the agreement, though, sir. Okay. That wasn't because she was helping me if out. You because you signed was... something. Right. That's okay, the I, very I get, definition of an okay. agreement. That's fine. That's fine. Anything what it is, else? What it Does is. anyone want to give me any more evidence here? It is what it is. I have copies of all the utility bills, if you would like those, sir. Yes. Anything else? Nothing else from you, ma'am? You don't have anything? No emails or anything where you cursed out about no. bugging you about no, money? No, nothing. All right. Judgment for the plaintiff, ma'am. Your presumption is that you knew you were to pay and that you were <laughs> obligated to pay by virtue of signing the lease. Okay. And Can that's I? it. And okay. okay. That's All fine. right. Judgment for that's the plaintiff. Fine. Have a good day. I'm glad this is over with. I'm going to finish my schooling this year and hopefully obtain employment. But beyond that, I'm planning on moving. Uh, to a different city and just getting away from all the drama. She did what she did for me out of the kindness of her heart, and she knows she did. You did everything you told me. I love you. I'm doing this because I love you. You're my friend, this and that. And you know you did, Chloe. And I have so many witnesses, and I wish I could have brought everybody here with me to prove that. And I can't believe that you did this. But, you know, you got what you wanted.